home for the first time last week and it made everyone cry, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, <laughs> it's called Bad Habit. I look over to you like you're the last person on earth and I am drowning. Like there is no one else who could lift me up by one fingertip and brush away my pain. The pain I've been dragging around with me all year. It's become more like my shadow lately. I look at you and wonder how one person could have become the reason to open my eyes each morning and find the sunlight peeking through. I wonder if the codependency has become a coping mechanism for a headspace we don't know how to live in anymore. We don't know how to breathe in. Our lungs have become cages for our conversations to burn in, while our words are becoming scriptures for a play that we die in. When did saying I love you become a habit we just can't break? Kissing you goodbye has become just a ritual where our angels have become the demons that masquerade as our happiness. I don't know how much of that I have left for you. I know you used to feel like a home to me, comforting as a warm fire and freshly washed sheets. I jumped into you and mistook company for safety. I thought the warmth of your arms could end my lonely, but today I found that my lonely is running deeper than the surface. My lonely latches onto the dopamine, morphing into a bottle of whiskey, but this addiction is a ghost that only I can see. And I've grown used to this kind of haunting lately. The end of loving you felt like the ending of everything because we built a life from bricks that seemed so indestructible. We built a love that seemed so undeniable. I remember when you lay with me in the hospital and told me however broken my brain was, I could never be unlovable. And now I know that maybe the end of loving you might just be the end of hurting you. From the day that I left the womb, I've been searching for safety. Since the day I was labelled a girl, I've been running through this maze, praying for a man to come save me. Isn't it ironic how I look for a settlement in the same place that destroyed me? I don't know if you were the natural disaster this time, or if it was me. It's like as I get older, my trauma becomes a magnet for lovers who think it's beautiful to carry someone as fucked up as this. Hold open the door, look at her, what a beautiful mystery. And we're becoming strangers. But I don't know how to unlearn everything we grew together. Gardens full of our memories, flowers brewing from your sobriety, petals falling for each time. I am still relapsing, but you knew how to heal my wounds. If we're becoming strangers, I hope we're the kind of strangers that still know how to smile at one another. I don't know how to survive the lonely. I've been asking strangers to just hold me because I can't hold myself up. I cannot kiss myself goodnight. I've never really known how to be a whole person all on my own, but I know it's what I need. That's why I have to start leaving you before it's time to start grieving you. And teaching myself how to do this alone is like a magic trick that I could never quite hack. How to go grocery shopping alone, how to call the doctor in the morning alone, how to walk home alone, how to sleep alone, how to breathe alone, how to be alone. Thank you.